This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another video and today Series 3 of the Jada Nano Metal Figs. I have been waiting for this. It's a gift from a fellow YouTuber Ultra Megatronus. Uh, thank you. Um, you can check out uh, our stream together that we did uh, early February or maybe late January. Uh, but I think it was February, so um, I'll put a link somewhere here. And uh, check that out, we had a good conversation. Uh, I was his first guest for his new series, um, Meet Your Reviewer. Uh, yeah, it's already out of the box because, I mean, I can't wait when I have stuff. I just need to open it. Um, a set of 18 figures with 11 reissues. So that's a bummer. Out of 18 figures you get seven new so and that includes you know the two here so yeah you know it's it's it, it i and they did a couple uh, reissues last time um actually last time i think there was only wheeljack who was a reissue so if they're early that early in the line and they're doing reissues uh series four is going to be just straight up reissues uh, but uh, so we're gonna go over uh, the figures mostly the new ones and uh, You know, I'm still really happy to have that but before I do the review I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist the main feature of my channel something I'm very proud of and also check out my sponsor DJC collectibles a fantastic online store and at the end of this video You can get your 10% discount code for anything transformers and now let's roll the in And here we are with the Jada Nano Metal Fig Series 3. And, you know, they still look good, but I mean, three reissues from Series 1 for the Decepticon. Series 2 is Optimus Prime. Series 1, Series 1, Series 1, Series 1. Series 2, 2, and 2. This is the new stuff. So, if you don't like to buy, you know, old stuff, uh, this set is not for you. Uh, it, if you skipped on the first one, well, there's your chance to get a couple uh, of the figures you missed out. Uh, I mean, they're still good. Uh, you know, of course, the paint is, you know, there's very few details on the face and stuff like that. But uh, it's still worth it to me, anyway. So what we have new is uh, Tigatron, which, which was probably the main reason why I wanted to have this set because I'm a big Tigatron fan, a uh, big white tiger fan, and he looks really good. I mean, the paint on the guy, you know, the different uh, uh, white and black, of the eyes, the blue, uh, you know, the face details are not that great because of the scale. Uh, but mine already has a paint chip, uh, so maybe I'll use some white out here. Uh, and you'll notice it's not the only paint chip I have. Um, there's Galvatron right here, and his cannon is chipped a little bit. So that's a little bummer. Not many details for the, uh, the legs. Uh, you know, the paint application is limited, but they still look really good. I mean, the cannon is not completely orange like that. You know, that could have been painted differently. But we have a season three uh, evil guy. Uh, you have Iron Storm, which I think that's one of the uh, more anticipated uh, figure because in the series two they gave us Nova Storm and Acid Storm and Red Wing, but now we have uh, uh, the uh, Iron Storm, so I'm really happy for that. Looks really good, nicely painted. This is a mold that we've had since series one. Uh, that pose, you know, fan favorite. Uh, Waspinator, forgot his name, sorry. Uh, no details on the wings itself, it's just like some... I don't know, is that like light gray or pink? Again, colorblind. Um, but I mean, he looks really good. The face sculpt uh, with the big eyes uh, does the job. And then you have the big uh, wasp head here uh, with his little gun. Nice details on the shin. And the greenish metallic color they use is 
really good. I really like it. You have an Alpha Trion in a, for some reason, fighting pose uh, with, you know, the big wing uh, here. So that's a, uh, you know, you look at it and you know exactly uh, what it is. You know, the Autobot logo, very small right here. Uh, he looks good. You can see the beard. So I like, uh, I like this one. Uh, and you'll notice not all of them have insignias. Insignias, sorry. Um, you know, but Alpha Trion, and then you have the Golden Optimus Prime has them. So this is a Series 1 Optimus Prime that's also been reused as a Nemesis Prime for the Series 2. So that looks really good. And now, I don't get why... Okay, you know, Soundwave... And then in Series 2's we had Sound Blaster. Now they're giving us another sound wave and another sound wave. Uh, but gold. And he has the little Decepticon logo here. I mean, don't get me wrong, the gold paint looks really good. And fortunately, there's no chipping on this one, so I'm really happy about that. But I mean, if you're gonna reissue this guy, uh, this is useless. Like give us something else uh, we have two Optimus Prime mold one with the axe one with the gun why not give us a Megatron with the flail uh, you know there's a couple more seekers that uh, we can have instead this could have been a blue streak we don't have a blue streak yet heck I, th that would never have happened but a Delta Magnus here would have been nice lifeline I'm just saying uh, burning convoy maybe um, and then Air Razor and Rhinox, which we had in Series 2. I mean, th there's a lot of things. And check out my video on my theory about Series 2. I think they got sent the list of characters for the Rise of the Beast movie. That's what they did. Because there's a G1 Battle Trap in that set. And we haven't heard from Battle Trap since G1 until the Rise of the Beast came out. And... I, I still think that Series 2 was supposed to be Rise of the Beast characters. They either got sent the wrong list or, you know, something happened. And uh, But anyway, check out my video because it, uh, to me, makes total sense. But Series 3, I don't know if it's another, uh, you know, maybe it's the lineup for the upcoming uh, movie, uh, Transformer 1. We don't know. I doubt it. Um, I'm really happy with the new figures. I mean, they look really good. But the, the, you know, 11 reissues, it's it's kind of a bummer. But I'm not going to lie, if they do a Series 4, I'll probably get it. Because any leftovers and duplicates I have, uh, like uh, Wheeljack from Series 2, they all go to my kid. So, there you go. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.